Stepners and Palestinians live in the same street here, but under two different legal systems with two different set of rights. Okay? Israeli settlers like me, our citizens of Israel, live under Israeli civilian law with all the rights that Israeli civilian law gives us. Palestinians live under military law, okay? With a bit less rights. Yeah, not too much, a bit less, if I'm allowed to be cynical. Yeah? Um, just to give you an example, so, so let's say I'm an Israeli or a Palestinian. We both throw stones at each other. Let's assume we both get arrested, yeah? Because usually the Israeli will not get arrested, but let's assume we both. As an Israeli throwing stones, I committed a criminal offense. As a Palestinian throwing stones, you committed a security offense, yeah, a terrorist offense. I can demand to speak to a lawyer before my first interrogation. You, we can keep for 30 days without a lawyer. We don't even need a judge for that. It's enough that a military officer signs the, the warrant. If they want to keep me in custody, within 24 hours, they need to bring me in front of a judge. You, we can keep between four to eight days. We don't need before we bring you to a judge. Mm -hmm. The judge that I will be brought in front will be an Israeli civilian judge in a civilian court in Israel. Your judge will be an Israeli military judge in a military court in the occupied territories, yeah? And goes on, yeah? So the discrimination is across the board, yeah? All the story. Up to over 99% conviction rate in Israeli military courts, yeah? Because they're very efficient. And the level of evidence is very strong, yeah? Being cynical a little bit, yes? Do they get a lawyer, the person? If you're, uh, yes, you can get the lawyer ultimately. You will have a lawyer ultimately, but it doesn't really change things. Yeah. In court? Yeah. yeah. Courts, the conviction rate is about, if I'm not mistaken, 99.8 or something like that. 99.7, whatever. That's the conviction rate in Israeli military courts. So it's like a miracle.